Outrocast. Good afternoon. Thank you for taking the time. How's your day going, aside from answering the same questions over and over and over again? Well, this is my lunch break. I, I'm in the writer's room for Dark Winds on AMC, so we're packing it in today. <laughs> in the best of ways, and uh, I'm speaking to somebody whose movie still has a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Do you pay attention to that at all? You know, I say no, but I always take a peek, so yeah, kind of. <laughs> well, congratulations on that, and, and when did you actually wrap the movie? The reason I'm asking that is because it was announced who was executive producing it and who was in it like three years ago. And you never know when those announcements come mid production or before production. Yes. We filmed in the summer of 2021 and that was about a month and a half uh, filming. And we just started editing for about a year and COVID took us out. My editor had COVID. I had COVID. So we were just, you know, taking our time with it. And we yep. will premiere it at, you know, South by Southwest in March this year. Did you know early into the process that Netflix would be showing the movie? Absolutely not. You know, you hope, <laughs> you hope as a filmmaker and, and you know, writer director, you hope that your film, you know, gets kind of this wide release and you couldn't have asked for a better, you know, partnership with Array, Ava DuVernay and, and Netflix. Hmm. Do you remember who the first actor who came on board is? I'm used to seeing Martin's name in Junkets. This must be like 12 films ago for Martin. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wrote this uh, character, Marvin, uh, actually with Martin in mind. And also his wife plays Aunt Lucy Kahara Hodges. And they're probably the most beautiful Native actors or actually married couple that I know. But I, you know, wanted to give Martin something that, you know, I haven't seen him in and I knew he can do it. I knew he could, he could, you know, pull it off. And, you know, he read the script and he was like, I'm down, you know, I know this uncle, I grew up with this uncle. So it really kind of, um, it didn't take much for him. And he, you know, he, he nailed it. And Taika, of course, executive producing. I first found about him through what we do in the shadows, seeing it in the theaters. How did you first encounter Taika's work? I, I've known Taika for about 20 years. And we met when he had a short film at uh, Sundance Film Festival, and I was volunteering there. And we just connected. You know, we're both indigenous. And, you know, the Native program at Sundance at the time was run by Bird Running Water you know, always pulled the Native Indigenous uh, filmmakers together. So we had a lot of events. So Tyke and I stayed in touch. And, you know, I just sent the script to him and said, hey, can 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 you, you know, help in any way, you know, as, as an advisor, as, and then I asked him, I was like, it would really help me a lot if you could EP my film. And he was on the set of Thor and he agreed. And that was probably... Uh, it was, you know, history from there. Hmm. Now, you mentioned right now you're in the writer's room for an AMC project. Does that mean that you also, like Taika, run the gamut from indie to blockbuster superhero things? You want to do both of those kinds of things? Yeah, I, I, you know, with the independent films, you know, it's, 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 you know, it takes about four or five years to, to get your film off the ground. And as an independent filmmaker, you're, you're trying to get all the resources you can get. So there, a lot of the times your films are pretty low budget. Um, writing for Dark Winds on AMC is, it's it's a paycheck. <laughs> it's a consistent, you know, paycheck. So yeah, I would love to go into other, other you know, projects that, you know, maybe are non-native. You know, I think that what I love doing is is writing and directing. So I'm getting that chance to do that here on Dark Winds. Well, two quick questions, then I let you go. And the first one is, what's the best way to find out about the next projects? Is it following you on Instagram? And if so, you're BR Luther? BR Luther, yes. Um, yeah, you know, I, I really keep people up to date on the work that I'm doing there. I just, I I, I, I would love to find out what I'm working on, too. So you can tell me, <laughs> maybe Google me. I just love, you know, creating. I Dark Winds right now is probably going to take about nine years of, of uh, or nine years, nine months. So I will be on that for a while, but I have a lot of kind of things in development. You know, I have I made a uh, documentary film called This Navajo, 
um, in 2005 now. And I am developing that into a feature project. So a narrative feature project. So that's, you know, what I'm, you know, really looking forward to. Wow. Okay. So keep checking IMDb, keep checking the gram. That's where we'll know what Billy has ready when he wants us to see it. Well, looking forward to that and keep up the 100% score on Rotten Tomatoes. Not jinxing it, congratulating it. So thank <laughs> you for your time, Billy. Thank you, Darren. Outrocast. <laughs>